Bob Menendez finally broke his silence, calmly explaining to CNN that not paying for those plane trips to the Dominican Republic with a major donor was an oversight that he corrected. But when asked about the charges that he consorted with prostitutes, Menendez got angry. It's amazing to me that anonymous, nameless, faceless individuals on a website can drive that type of story into the mainstream. We're just across the street from Union City City Hall where Bob Menendez got his political start. He served as mayor here from 86 to 92 and built a political organization that made him a U.S. congressman and ultimately a very powerful United States senator. Around here, Bob Menendez can do no wrong. That's politics. Those are people who haven't reached that level and want to damage him in some way. They want to get rid of him and his place. The people I know, everybody believe he's good. And he's doing a good job. That's it. This is not the first time that the senator's relationships with campaign donors have become the subject of public scrutiny. In 2006, a federal investigation started by then U.S. Attorney Chris Christie failed to find any wrongdoing by the senator, but exposed a pattern of cozy relationships with donors who later benefited from public resources. Menendez had always called that investigation politically motivated, and the Justice Department later issued a letter completely exonerating him. So it's no surprise then that sources close to the senator say the latest allegations are part of an orchestrated smear campaign. You know, I don't like to think of it as conspiracy theory or anything like that, but to reach the levels that he has by working so hard, it's not a bad, you know, sometimes people maybe they feel are jealous for whatever reason. Menendez didn't say who he thought was behind the allegations, but sources close to him suggest that those behind it could include narco traffickers looking to scuttle a billion dollar port security contract awarded to Menendez's friend, or right wing Republicans here in the States, or even the Cuban government, which Menendez has targeted with embargo legislation. There may yet be a formal ethics committee investigation into all this, and Menendez's chairmanship of the Foreign Relations Committee could also be at risk. But with six long years before he has to face voters again, the senator's inner circle is hoping, if not yet betting, that he will survive. In Union City, I'm David Cruz, NJ Today.